now we're moving on to uh we're gonna be talking about the latest makami project wap uh was it i have the pronunciation wap Joga. how'd you know it was pronounced like that i put in google translate and i heard how it sound and then i wrote it down why is the last j a go sound it just i don't know that's what it sounded like all right we'll go with it yeah i'm, I'm probably wrong on that but let's just <laughs> let's just hope for the best it's haitian it's uh haitian so, oh, well, I guess that makes sense. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Makami is a Haitian MC from Newark, New Jersey. Um, he's kind of like an elusive face kind of in the in the hip-hop community. Uh, he's kind of been rising in notoriety over the past couple of years, uh, but came on our radar after his features on Quelly Chris's latest project, uh, Guns, on Wild Minks, and your old Droog's latest albums. He was on RST with Doom, as well as Funeral March, The Dirge, uh, from It Wasn't Even Close. Um, I've known about Makami, I feel like, for longer than that, but yeah. I can't say I've ever like listened to anything that he's put out. Kind of like Jay Electronica, yeah. where I like, know that he has potential, but like there is... Makami's actually released projects yeah, yeah. before. That's Jay Electronica saying, like, has never released... That's what I'm saying. Like, Jay Electronica <laughs> is like... People always talk about him and include him in the conversation. Like, dude, Jay Electronica is so good. Can't wait for his first album to come out. Where is it at, though? Like, how do you know? Uh, but I, I constantly hear about Makami being, yeah. like, being really good, but he's just out of the spotlight so much. He's so elusive. Yeah, he's your old Drake's favorite rapper, apparently. I guess so. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think also Danny Brown might have played this record when he got some, like, radio time maybe a couple weeks ago. Yeah, okay. Uh, that, that sounds really familiar. Uh, this latest EP uh, has Makami receiving some features and seals of approval from Droog himself, Quelle, as well as Earl Sweatshirt. Um, and there's also some... The uh, Holy Trinity of Underground Hip Hop. Yep, just those three. Just those three, the Holy Trinity. Same thing with the Holy Trinity of like the Conjures rap with Kendrick, yeah, Cole, and Crit. There seems to be a They overlap. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same people. <laughs> um, th- this project also has a lot of production from Earl, the God Fahim, or the God Fahim, I mean, and the Alchemist, who mm-hmm. seems to be cropping up quite a bit this year. Yeah. Um, and man. Wapkan Joga in Haitian means more or less, you will meet the consequences of your actions. Which is nice. kind of cool. Uh, going over this thing, I think I think it's probably best to go over track for track, because there's only like seven tracks on here. Sure. I, I like them all. Uh, going over Chimney Brunch, the opener, with Quelly Chris. Quelly Chris on top of this game. He's just throwing out syllables nonstop. It's not like rapid, but there's the pronunciation of them is just eclectic and weird. Just like Quelly is, very shapeless. Uh, I like the line about Ric Flair, you're in the rings with Ric Flair, you're in the... Wait, I forget how he says He's just throwing out like weird homonyms. Is really interesting, uh, but I really love the saxophone that kind of carries through that like transition between oh, yeah, Makami and uh, Quelle is really nice. They just feel like they're on the same sync, uh, they just kind of it's a perfect track to kind of show that like shapeless nature of both of these artists. Uh, I like how uh, Makami comes up a little bit distorted on the mix, it's really nice. Going into Mozambique Drill featuring the god Fahim, uh, where you just get this. A repeated loop from Mock about play stupid games, win stupid prizes, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. This very undertone vocal that I really enjoy um, because he does it uh, a couple of moments on here on the CP. Um, and I like it because it, 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 it works like it isn't it's undertone, but it isn't under passionate. Yeah, it's that kind of nice moment in the middle where you get like this very like kind of a sh- nonchalant thing but it still has passion enough to it to where it doesn't feel completely pointless and i also like how the, later on in the second like little bur- burst of the hook we get uh this vocals layering over top of it so you get two layers of vocals yeah. on one on top of another which is really interesting um going into wapcon jock uh j- i'm sorry wapcon joga um i, I just feel like this is one of the moments where Mock gets to truly sign on the track, uh, moving into the very beautiful instrumental time face, then idiot. It's idiot boy. Idiot. Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. I know. It took me a while to figure that out. Idiot boy. Reminds me of um, Ren from Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. <laughs> idiot boy. <laughs> uh, featuring the God for him and Euro Drew. This is the best track on here. Oh, yeah. Starting with this fantastic mm-hmm. trumpet sample that uh the god fahim's over he has a great verse then it goes into this like bass sample with euro droog it feels like we're going down this tunnel and euro droog is 
is is most standoffish as he's ever been. He feels confident. He feels like really sturdy. Like if you try to push him over, he won't fall down. I, I just I, that's the way I would describe it. It just break out. He's he is. He seems like very dominant, very uh, not forceful, but just very defensive. Like he's just sturdy. Yeah. Um. Then it goes and then the drums kick in, and then we get Makami's voice verse. Which is correct. Like we get this tunnel-like nature. I think it just suits perfectly. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, this track begins going from time swap to here. Has this great transition between with a ghost face killer sample. I think we get an ODB like vocal sample later on, which is really nice. Uh, going into Mitt Rom, which is this like little one minute segment with Earl Sweatshirt, where Earl is doing his new traditional thing as just being really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can you speak up, please? <laughs> He's just kind of like yeah. muted in the mix. We saw this on the Z Loopers project recently, w- uh-huh. where he had a feature on that, and as well as in uh, some rap songs. Yeah, well. I don't think I don't knock it because I feel like on his verse he actually shows a lot of passion and he actually seems genuinely happy which makes me feel good because i know he's been in a dark place for a while and now it feels like he's slowly coming out of it i like how he's doing a lot of these uh projects with like underrated artists which is nice Mm -hmm. but i like that one minute like little it feels like a very like angelic angelic haze that they're in the production of the track which is really nice just very hazy on hard to see through which i really enjoy and then finally going uh over simbi i just like this ongoing sample or the beginning sample of how long it takes to get famous four years which is this like over, six to get rich six to get rich this idea how fame's so simple and then uh let's see makami kind of gets his final moment to shine and he has a great line therefore eat a dick sprinkle some aids on it you ain't sick until you're truly sick and they put names on it and uh, also, uh, I forgot to mention on the previous track, Mint Rom, uh, we don't ever see you in the joint, you lyricist. Because <laughs> he's not a freestyle rapper, no, he's just a lyricist. <laughs> I like that idea a lot. I think it's really funny. But um, yeah, I think Makami has great production. The project flows really well. Uh, I think he has a, a demanding presence on the mic. He's standing up with some of the best on here. Earl, your old Drew, Quelle. These are people who are dominating this, like, this like abstract hip hop underground hip hop scene and uh art rap this kind of like trifecta of those like little areas and he's standing up with the best of them yeah. and he's getting good features there's good performances across the board I, I think he stands out in his own projects and it, it's just a short little ep that showcases the best of him and i'm really impressed with this i was well um i really like that it's short cuz it's easily digestible i can listen to it uh very similar to like kids see ghost or yay or uh, Daytona, they're shorter albums that I feel like uh, you can just breeze through really quickly, and they pack a lot of punch for just the little bit that you'll get uh, from them. I can't say I dislike any of these tracks. I I really enjoyed all of them. Idiot Boy, I think, is definitely like you said the best track on here, uh, with just some really great features and Makami being able to like hold his own against them. Uh, this really proves like why Makami is so. Uh, so revered, I yeah. think, in the hip hop community. Because before, like, it wasn't until Quelly that I really kind of knew of him, and I heard so many people revere of him, and I just kind of haven't understand it because not because I wasn't impressed by his performances on either of those projects we mentioned before. Yeah, but I just I just didn't know. Yes, and this kind of shows me why he's important. Oh, for sure. There's some really good curation, really good performances on here. Um, I really like a lot of the uh, I really like a lot of the sampling and a lot of the uh, production on here. It reminds me a lot of like 20th century minimalistic music. Yeah, just some like fixed piano kind of thing. Or um, uh, reminds me a lot of like somebody like Charles Ives or John Cage or Philip Glass. Like definitely like cut from different cloths, but like these composers put together like some really just weird droning minimalistic music. Especially uh, I think it's on Mitchum where it's like just little sprinkling of piano yeah. uh, in and out of the track but it's like not prominent it might as well just be silent with like a couple of like little piano things on there they're basically just rapping over silence the, yeah they're like, rapping over noise for me because it's still it still overpowers Earl Sweatshirt <laughs> well sure I mean Earl yeah. Sweatshirt is still whispering but like <laughs> I think that the the lyricism present on here like just completely overtakes that and the minimalistic piano like really plays into just how um I don't know, like thought provoking. Yeah, this this is and how um, I don't know. I feel like artsy is like a bad term. Yeah, but also like 
that pretty much like sums up how I feel about this. I think that uh, this was just a really impressive work. I actually really like the album artwork as well. It reminds yeah. me of the reminds Revolutionary me of War. Revolutionary <laughs> War. It reminds me of Danny Brown's old. Yeah. It also reminds me of like uh, like watercolor paintings. It's yeah. just a really really neat looking um, artwork. But yeah, like I I actually really like this project more than I I ever thought I would. This is uh this ended up being a great surprise this week. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind those scores a few times. I mean, right now I'm feeling uh feeling an eight plus on those. I really enjoyed this. I have it as well. I think. Uh, Central Project. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I enjoyed it a lot. Good deal. Okay. Uh, 